world's most bizarre submarines. Number 10. Drug Submarines Drug dealers will find any way to get their product over the border, even if it means designing submarines. This one here is extremely fast but was picked up by the US Coast Guard during a massive drug raid. Constructed by narco traffickers in the swamps of Colombia, these are made with no windows and barely any fresh air to breathe. They do have a lot of cocaine on the other hand. They can hold from 6 to 10 tons of illegal substances and are difficult to detect. The subs are also constructed with cameras, one for daytime and the other for night vision to help them navigate the seas no matter what hour it is. Some transporters prefer to go slow, but make many drop-offs to cities in Mexico. One run with this much cargo may take about two weeks. They should get used to the small spaces, however, because if they do get caught, they'll be doing some serious time in a prison cell. Number 9. Rinspeed S. Cuba This amphibious car is developed by a Swiss company called Rinspeed and is the first of its kind. It can be driven on both land and underwater. While some cars can be turned into boats fairly easily, this one here can be your own private submarine for the right price. How much would you guess one of these costs? If you guess 1.5 million, good job. If you're willing to fork over the cost of this, you could have your own James Bond style vehicle. This is an all electric vehicle, which uses three motors that allow it to drive along the bottom of the water. Instead of hitting deers, if you're driving this, you gotta watch out for hitting sharks or other underwater creatures. It has room for one other adventurous occupant, and breathing masks are needed to be equipped. Number 8. X-Class British Submarines The British X-Class was designed in secrecy by the Royal Navy and were tested at a training base in Scotland called Isle of Lewis. This 52-foot midget submarine could remain at sea for days or until the crew ran out of food. A four-man crew would normally be able to reach a maximum range of 1,200 miles and reach depths of about 300 feet. The periscope was small and unreliable to say the least. The one hatch that was built to get in and out proved to be a lethal design because more were needed to escape quickly and effectively. The designers intended for this to actually be towed by a larger submarine to positions near enemy targets. They would often be sent out to release mines that were equipped with delay fuse timers so it could escape the explosion in time. These would prove to be useful in battle across the North Sea against the Germans. Number 7. French Surcouf The French Surcouf was considered to be a cruiser submarine and finally took the seas in May 1934. It was named after a French privateer, Robert Sokouf, who amassed a small fortune by capturing enemy boats. At the time, this submarine cruiser was the largest ever built until the Japanese came up with their own design in 1943. Armed with powerful turret guns, anti-aircraft guns, as well as its own observation plane, this was something people did not want to mess with. As you see in these photos, the design of the Surcouf changed throughout the years with varying paint colors. This model here displays the interior in detail. It seemed to have almost too many weapons, even though it was 110 meters or about 360 feet long. Another mystery of World War II, this sub mostly patrolled the Western Atlantic. Some believe that while in the Caribbean, Americans might have mistaken it for a German U-boat and was a victim of friendly fire from the Americans. The resting place, however, has yet to be discovered. Number 6. U.S. Navy Sea Jet this photo was taken from a distance so you can see the bizarre shape of the U.S. Sea Jet and almost looks like some kind of monster. Also known as the Advanced Electric Ship Demonstrator, this vehicle measures in at 133 feet or 41 meters and is what's known as a naval test bed for the Navy's Office of Naval Research. This is an active service but most likely won't see any action anytime soon because it's currently sitting in a lake in Bayview in northern Idaho. The lake's depth goes about 1,150 feet, making it an excellent place to test out some new subs. Out in this isolated lake, the Navy can test various aspects of new submarine technology, such as propeller noise, new sail designs, and its handling capabilities. Besides the bizarre design, this thing has some serious sub power, with an engine packing 3,000 horsepower. Number 5. Japanese Suicide Subs During World War II, the Japanese used a form of suicidal warfare techniques, such as kamikaze airplanes. But did you know they used submarines as well? The Shinyo boats were basically human manned torpedoes known as Kaiten torpedoes. This literally translates to the return to heaven. The Japanese soldiers would much rather die in battle than surrender to the Americans. These were put to use and carried 3,420 tons of explosives, and to add to that, they were fueled with diesel, making them even more deadly. Although they did have trouble supplying oxygen to the pilots, they were able to design more efficient models, which were able to be successful in sinking American ships. Number 4. Unmanned Nuclear Subs If you didn't already think nuclear submarines were scary enough, Wait until you see what the Russians could possibly be developing. It's a nuclear-powered sub, meaning it's generated by a nuclear reactor. 
sort of like the one in Chernobyl that melted down. A Russian news leak comes after a meeting that occurred with uh, naval officers and Vladimir Putin. We know the Russians do have some extremely powerful nuclear subs, and technology is advancing to take humans out of danger. Could these claims possibly be true? These images have hinted the possibility, as you see in this photo. The nuclear reactor in this submarine is quite smaller than other submarines, but also has a diesel engine as a backup. As of right now, she's sitting at a dry dock, but is it possible the Russians are going to use this sub someday? Number 3. The Turtle Also known as the American Turtle, it's the first submersible warcraft with a history of battle. She was first built in 1775 in Connecticut and was used to attach explosives on enemy British ships without being detected. It only had enough oxygen for 25 minutes of submergence. Royal Navy British boats occupying American harbors were the favorite targets for these primitive submarines. The turtle was about 10 feet wide and was operational one person at a time. General George Washington authorized the first turtle attack in New York Harbor, where unsuspecting British naval officers were enjoying a cup of tea on the HMS Eagle. The vessel was blown to pieces in the middle of the night by a torpedo and it was the first recorded attack of a submarine ever. So us Americans will take credit for the invention of the submarine as well. Number 2. The Typhoon Although the Americans may have been the first to put submarines to use, the Russians seem to have the best and biggest subs. The Typhoon is the biggest active submarine and can displace 48,000 tons of water. It measures 175 meters long or 574 feet. While other subs may have to worry about running out of fuel at some point, crew members can stay on board for 120 days at a time comfortably and it could even go years without refueling. It's also designed to travel under ice, then literally break the ice above them. It carries 20 intercontinental ballistic missiles, and of course, they are all armed with nuclear warheads. If that didn't seem like enough firepower for you, it also has four torpedo tubes with a total of 22 anti-submarine missiles. These tubes can also be used to launch mines. We need to try our best not to get Russia mad at us. They take their submarines very seriously. And number one, the US Pennsylvania. Russians may have the biggest submarine, but the U.S. still have some serious firepower to match them. The Pennsylvania is a United States ballistic missile submarine that also is using nuclear energy. It's estimated that it could go 20 years without ever needing to refuel. She's also the biggest American submarine currently and glides through the Pacific Ocean undetected to enemy radar. She's ready to bring on an apocalypse if needed with 14 thermonuclear missiles on board. It's only about 15 feet shorter than the Typhoon. Scientists have found a way to turn seawater into oxygen by a process known as electrolysis, and one generator on this sub can produce 4,000 liters of oxygen every hour. This sub now has a limitless amount of clean air. 